there was a law that said blacks could not ride on a bus. And Rosa Parks said no. And guess what happened? It changed. We have to say no. That was just one of many arguments presented to the Walt Township School Board Wednesday night where Governor Murphy's school mask mandate is being met with anger. Some parents are vowing to defy it ahead of the school year. The, the biggest problem we have is the fact that the local home rule was taken away from us. School Board President Ralph Andonizio says while the district will not defy the order, it is pushing back against it, making a plea to the governor to rescind it, citing concerns over the masks and the negative psychological and emotional impact it's having on students. I fully understand the value of masks, um, but it comes down to a local decision. Right now in our town, we do not see the need for it. Not being able to have that choice is at the crux of a class action lawsuit being prepared by the advocacy group Jersey First on behalf of more than 100 families who argue a surge of new infections in one part of the state shouldn't impact everyone. Parents' expectations were that it would be more of a district by district kind of decision. As tensions over wearing masks in schools escalate, so have cases of the Delta variant among children. In the past week, over 93,000 cases among children nationwide were reported by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Experts say when you consider how highly infectious the variant is, unmasking children will lead to outbreaks and school shutdowns. When you hear the word mandate, it's totally politicized that we're taking away people's civil rights. We want people to live so you can have rights. Now that class action lawsuit being prepared by Jersey First is expected to be filed in the next few days. The group tells PIX11 the number of families jumping on board growing by the day. In Monmouth County, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News.